This is Ben McGahee with Yammy Chess. I'm going to be your math teacher today. Yammy Chess is the math learning aid based on classic chess that helps students in math and science education for school. In this lesson, we will learn about the units of capacity. So the units for capacity, you know, help measure how much uh, fluids are in a container, whether it be um, water or milk you know, soda, any kind of fluids that you're using. And so we're going to look at some of the English unit units that are used every day. So first we have the ounce, that's the smallest unit. That's um, abbreviated OZ. Then we have the cup, that's uh, abbreviated just C. Pint is uh, PT. Quart QT and our largest unit, the gallon, is GAL. So um, we're going to express, you know, the cup, pint, quart, and gallon in terms of the other units. So we can say one cup is equal to eight ounces. And then for the pint, we have one pint equals two cups. And then one quart equals two pints. And then one gallon equals four quarts. So those are the unit conversions. One unit of capacity to another unit of capacity. So notice that when we're dealing with capacity, um, we're dealing with actually what's called a fluid ounce. So it would be FL and then OZ. So these are actually fluids that we're dealing with, not the actual um, like a weight or of a, like a solid object. So we're just dealing with the fluids. So fluid ounce. So let's look at a couple examples where we can convert from one unit of capacity to another. So let's say we want to know like one quart equals how many ounces. Okay, so to convert from one quart to the number of ounces, we need to look at um, our conversion factors here. These four important um, conversion factors. And so We'll do one quart, convert the quart to pints. So we know that one quart is two pints. And then for pints, we can go to cups. So we know one pint is two cups. And then we can go from cups to ounces. So we know one cup is eight ounces. And so you'll notice that the units that we want to get rid of um, are on the top and bottom. So those will cancel for the quarts. And the pints are going to cancel. Cups are going to cancel. And then we're left with ounces. That's the unit that we want um, for our final answer. And so we have all of our numbers that we're going to multiply, you know, 1 times 2 times 2 times 8. So it looks like we're just multiplying. So we're going to have 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 8, 32. 
So one cord equals 32 ounces. So let's say we do another problem where we have 120 ounces and we want to know how many pints there are in 120 ounces. So we'll start with 120 ounces And then we can also go to our cups. So we know that one cup is eight ounces. And then we can go to cups to pint. We know that one pint is two cups. So just using these two conversion factors here. One cup equals eight ounces, one pint equals two cups. And then we'll see the ounces will cancel, cups will cancel, and then we're left with pints. And so we're going to be left with, on top we'll have 120 divided by and then 8 times 2 on the bottom. Now a way we can simplify this, um, instead of just multiplying 8 times 2, we could do some canceling, right? We could see that, you know, 2 goes into 120 because it's even. So we can do cancellation. So two will go in there twice, or two goes into two one time, <laughs> and then two goes into 120. Uh, two goes in 12 six times, and he had zero, so that'll be 60. And then all we have left is 60 divided by eight. And so we can do that division on the side. And so 8 into, it doesn't go into 6, but it goes into 60 um, 7 times. And 7 times 8, 56. And then 60 minus 56. And borrow, make that 5 and 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. And then we can add a decimal and bring down a 0. And then divide 8 into 40 goes 5 times. So 5 times 8 is 40. And so it looks like 40 and 5 is 40, 0. So that goes in. So it looks like we have 7.5. So 120 ounces equals 7.5 uh, pints. So that would be our answer. Okay, so I've shown you a couple examples of how this works, and we're going to take a chance to give you some problems to try on your own. You have three problems here. So the first one says 48 quarts equals how many gallons? And the second problem asks 7 pints equals how many ounces? And the third problem is um, add a little twist to it, um, introducing a new unit of capacity. Um, if one gallon equals 3.78 liters, so liters is a very common metric system. Um, you see it in um, your containers every day, like uh, bottles of water and uh, soda that you buy at the grocery store. 
Um, so if one gallon equals 3.78 liters, then how many ounces are in a one liter bottle of water? And you want to round your answer to the nearest whole number. And I want to encourage you to use a scientific calculator because you're going to get a decimal number and, um, you know, in the real world you're going to see a lot of decimal numbers and it's just good to have that practice with, with rounding. Um, final answers. So numbers are not actually whole all the time, you know. You can't always have three or four, you know. You may have um, fractions and decimals. So it's always good to learn how to convert and then and round to estimate. So I'll give you a chance to uh, pause the video, work on these three problems, and feel free to rewind back and take a look at the unit conversions if you need to, um, the ones that we boxed in, and uh, we'll go over these answers. Okay, so let's go over the answers. Um, so we have, for the first problem, is 48 quarts equals how many gallons? So we're going to do 48 quarts, and I'm going to have times, put quarts on the bottom because that's the unit we want to cancel, and gallons is the unit on top we want to convert to. And so if we go back to our units, we see that one gallon um, equals four quarts. So that's going to help us. So one gallon, four quarts. So we see that the quarts are going to cancel. We'll be left with gallons. That's the unit we want to convert to for gallons. And so this is going to give us 48 divided by 4. So 4 into 48. We'll do some division. It's probably one of your times tables, right? So 4 into 4 once. Subtract. We get 0. Bring down the 8. 4 into 8 goes 2 times. 2 times 4 is 8. That's 0 remainder. So it looks like we get 12, right? So 48 quarts equals 12 gallons. So that's a lot of fluid, right? Um, so you can imagine 12 gallons, you know, how much that is if you buy 12 gallons of milk grocery store. Um, probably t too many gallons to have in your refrigerator. <laughs> Maybe one or two gallons, but or three, but <laughs> definitely not twelve. Um, okay, so number two says seven pints equals how many ounces? So let's. Let's try to set that one up. So we have seven pints. We have pints on the bottom. And we need to think of a unit to use. Let's see. We know pint goes to, um, we have cups, and then we have cups to ounces. So we know a pint is two cups, and one cup is eight ounces. So, so we can go from pints to cups, and then from cups to ounces. So we notice that um, one pint, two cups, and one cup is eight ounces. So it looks like we're just going to multiply these together, right? So you can cancel these out. Pints and cups. 
and we're left with the ounces. That's the unit we want. So then we're just going to multiply 7 times 2 times 8. So 7 times 2 times 8. And it doesn't really matter what order you multiply these in. Um, you still get the same answer. So we could just do left to right. So we do 7 times 2 is 14. And then multiply that by 8 to the side here, so 4 times 8, 32, carry the 3, 1 times 8 is 8, plus 3 is 11, so it looks like we get 112 ounces, 112 ounces, Okay, so now for the more challenging one, that's number three. It says if one gallon equals 3.78 liters, then how many ounces are in one liter bottle of water? And we want to round to the nearest whole number. So hopefully you were able to use your calculator for this one. So we could do this um, to the side down here. So we'll have... Um, we have one liter, and we want to convert to gallons, so we know that one gallon is 3.78 liters. So you're going to see that the liters will cancel, we're left with the gallons, and then you just do one divided by 3.78 gallons. Okay. So we'll just leave that as our fraction for right now and then we'll put it all together in the end. So we know we can go from gallons Let's see, to um, quarts, right? We know that uh, one gallon is four quarts. We can go from quarts to, um, I believe, pints, right? One quart, two pints. And then we can go from pints to cups. One pint, two cups. And then from cups to ounces, there's our final unit. So we know that one cup is eight ounces. So let's see what units cancel out in uh, this one. So we have the ga gallons, quarts, pints, cups, and then we have ounces, and that's what we want, right? We want we want the ounces, OZ. So what we can do here is we see we have four, we got two, two, and eight. So let's m multiply all those numbers together. 4 times 2 times 2 times 8. And since this is like a 1, kind of like multiplying by 1 over 3.78, so that's kind of like dividing by. Multiplying by a reciprocal is like dividing by that number, 3.78, so that would just go on the bottom. And so we'll multiply those together. We get. Let's see, what do we get on top? 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. And what's 16 times 8? 6 times 8, 48. 1 to 8, 12. So 128 looks like all over 3.78. So 128 divided by 3.78 you should get about 33 looks like point 
eight, six um, ounces. But if we want to round to the nearest whole number, we notice that the eight is five or higher, so we're going to go up to 34 ounces. 34 ounces. So our magic number is 12, 112, and 34. Let's see if we got those in our answers. 12, 112, 34. Yep. And always make sure to include your units in your final answer. So the first one was gallons, so we had ounces in the second one, and then the third one we also had ounces. So if you did good on those, uh, well done. I applaud you for doing a great job. Um, I know that third problem was a little challenging, um, but um, it's good to be familiar with other units of measurement and know how to use those in relation to the ones you're given. So, um, especially when you're taking a course on uh, chemistry, physics, and engineering, you'll definitely see um, a lot of different units that you'll be working with, and you'll have to learn how to convert from one unit to another. So this is Ben McGahey, and I want to thank you for watching this lesson on units of capacity. Uh, please stay tuned for more lessons on yammychess.com. Have a great day.